Welcome back to The Merge, the wrestling guide for jiu-jitsu, powered by Fuji Sports. The front headlock is a very strong position in jiu-jitsu. It can help you finish takedowns, lock up chokes, and even take your opponents back. I'm gonna show you guys how I like to set up my front headlock entry, bring my opponent down to the ground, and finish the arm and guillotine. The most efficient way that I like to uh, lock up the front headlock is by faking a single leg. And when I fake a single leg, it gets a reaction out of my opponent and it naturally drops his level in his neck and his back and his hips, okay? So I'll be locked up here and my right arm from here will either already be on a collar tie or it'll be on an inside tie, okay? Either or is fine. When I fake a single leg, I'm really selling it, right? So he really feels the danger of a shot coming and it gives him that kind of reaction like this. So I fake the single and if I'm on the inside tie here, my, my hand comes right on the top of the back of the skull here, okay? I'm not coming to the neck. The neck's pretty strong. I mean, at this angle, I'm probably gonna get it anyway, but this is a strong area on the neck, okay? When you're up here on the back of the, the skull from here, this is a very weak area of the head. To the top of the head, and I'm gonna pull that into my own hand as my hand cups his chin here. Okay, now look, once I'm here, you saw me roll my shoulder over his neck, and it's kind of in the middle of his back from here, okay? Now look, let's say we stand up. I can always shoot for a guillotine here. If the guy's giving it to me, he's falling asleep at the wheel, I could totally just guillotine from here, right? Most guys, once you get the front headlock, things tighten up, right? They start backing out, pushing away with the hands, and now it's kind of hard to lock this up. I have to somehow control him, okay? He has a lot of movement on his feet from here. If I go left, right, he follows, right? This way, he can move because he's on his feet. I'm gonna take that away from him by getting him to the mat. Now, I can't just bring him down to the mat easily like this, right? It's not gonna work. And I don't wanna pull him right into my legs like this, where he can take me down. So the way I do this, I'm gonna create an angle. I'm actually gonna leave my feet a little bit and I'm gonna drop my knees to the mat, pulling him down like this. I take away that motion uh, from his feet and now he's on his knees. He can't move around just, uh, just as easily and freely as he can on his feet. Take the single, he moves, hand, hands coming to the top of the head, snapping it down, okay? Hands on the tricep from here, and I'm gonna bring him down to the mat. So I'm creating the angle, stepping backwards, knees dropping to the mat, pulling his head to the mat. Here, all right, once we're here, I'm on my toes, putting weight and pressure onto his back. Now here's when I switch to the guillotine, okay? I'm gonna lock my hands up like this, right? Like my four fingers are grabbing the knife of my pinky from here, here, and look, I'm gonna pull up and kind of load him up here to expose his hips so my left knee can slide in and it goes across his hips and my foot clicks right here, okay? Once we fall here now, right? This is nice and tight from here. My foot's wrapped around the hip. My right leg's gonna go over the top here and secure his back and I'm pinching these knees in. To finish this guillotine from here, I'm not arching backwards from here, okay? I'm going to side oblique crunch to my left and I'm closing this gap on my arm like this. So it's like this. It's a side oblique crunch, not arching back here hard. Okay, look. So you get the tap. For more episodes, visit themergeonline.com, follow us on social media, and I'll see you guys next Friday.